Hello and welcome to the history of cinemas in the West End of London for 1920 to 1929. 1920. The Palace Theatre starts to show films. The Madame Tussard Cinema closes. 1922. The new Oxford Theatre starts to show films. The circle in the square becomes the Leicester Square Cinema. The Scala stops showing films. 1923. The Tivoli Theatre, which is owned by Lowe's from the USA opens. The Hoban Cinema is renamed Embassy Cinema. These cinemas closed. 1924. King George V and Queen Mary attends their first cinema showing at the Marble Arch Pavilion on November 10th. The West End Cinema Theatre becomes the Rialto Theatre. 1925 On February 11th, the Capitol Theatre opens. Lowe's takes over the Empire Theatre. The Embassy and the Phoenix Cinemas closes. 1926 The Cinema de Paris becomes the Cameo Cinema. The Leicester Square Cinema becomes the Palm Court Cinema. 1927 On January 12, the Astoria Theatre opens. The Empire Theatre closes for rebuilding on January 22. The Shaftesbury Pavilion becomes the Avenue Pavilion. British Gourmet Theatres takes over the Marble Arch Pavilion. 1928 The court cinema is closed for showing uncensored sex films. The Carlton Theatre shows its first film on March 26. The Tussaud Cinema opens on April 26. The Forum Cinema opens on July 30 showing foreign films. On November 8, Lowe's reopens the Empire Theatre after a complete rebuilding. The Regal Cinema opens on November 29. General Theatres takes over the Astoria. Here are the changes for 1928. These cinemas closed or stopped showing films in 1928. 1929 The Associated British Cinemas, also known as ABC, takes over the Regal Cinema. The Alhambra Theatre starts to show sound films in December. The Grafton Theatre stops showing films. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe.